Good evening, everyone. Uh, tonight we're going to have a special, it's a special occasion here, Thursday night on Twitch. What we're going to do, we're going to do Mongols versus the computer and see if we can actually win. Now, if for anyone that knows and has uh, heard me bellyache about Mongols in the past, you will be very familiar with my uh, sentiments towards them. I believe they're dead last, the worst civilization in this game. But that doesn't matter, we're still going to give it our best here tonight and see what we can do, see if we can pull off an impressive victory, even with the Mongols. So We'll see what we can do here, folks. I'm going to need you to send me your energy because uh, the Mongols sure don't have any. Let's talk about their bonuses real quick here. If I can actually arrow over. I don't know why the Xbox is so load. So much loading sometimes. So here we go. The thing that makes the Mongols actually absolutely horrible is uh, this ancient bonus right here. Barbarian villagers join us. That means you don't get any of the normal gold bonuses or any of that good stuff. So what you do get is a one population city, which is border <laughs> borderline useless. Now, honestly, I give the Mongols a hard time, but it's really just this one bonus. If you removed that bonus from the game, they would actually be kind of cool because that 50% trade from captured cities... That's pretty cool, actually. I actually really like that. If you could get a walk-in and take advantage of that, that's a cool bonus. And really, if you if you have a good domination game in the ancient era and you somehow manage to wipe out some people, which would be a lot easier if you were getting gold and spies and a lot of other good stuff, um, they would actually be kind of good. And, you know, the cavalry speed bonus is actually great. That's pretty cool. I think that's really cool. All cavalry gets plus one retroactively. Pretty nice. And then plus two production from mountains is also, a, I, I believe, a pretty, pretty darn good game. Now, I don't think we're going, I don't think we're getting the zero AD economic victory tonight. I don't think that's going to happen. Knowledge of communism, even that one's not too bad because that could uh, make it possible to uh, uh, say you wanted to go for a really strong cultural victory, go for production instead of the uh, temple slash cathedral route. You could do that. And you could just pop out wonders left and right. So, uh, as you see here, I don't have any of the emblems here on this lo local profile. So, let's get one for Genghis. What's the goal here? I think... Honestly, I think it would be amazing if we could get a non-domination victory before 1500. That would be amazing for the Mongols, I think. I think that would be pretty impressive. But, you know, I will say, if, if, if everything goes really well, I might go for a domination victory. We'll see how this turns out, though. We're going to play it by ear, see how it goes, and uh, we'll see. Honestly, I like this start. I like it because I'm in a corner, and uh, I got snow down here, so which means, means I'm by the south pole right down here. Alright, so we hit planes. That's good. Okay, we found a uh, villager hut here. Alright, sounds good, Renlu. Glad you could at least come for 30 minutes. That's cool. Welcome, Smokums. Good to see you, bro. Uh, could get a tech here. Nobody knows. Let's find out. 25 gold. Ah, oh, no. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Look what I found. I found. I found. The French. I found the French, boys. Can you believe it? I might get pottery. Uh, Gotta do this right here. So that means the capital's right here. Let me math this out real quick. This could be a good little start right here. Let's 
See if we can get a walk in here. I don't think this will work. We'll see though. Oh yeah! Look at that. Hosting with one viewer. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that. So if this doesn't work, I'm resetting. Because I'm a bitter person. And uh, I'm kind of surprised by what they did here. They should have a guy running around by now. So I don't know what he's doing at this point. I would think that by now, the warrior would have moved out. So I'm a little confused by that. Let's see what happens here. Oh, do you see that? But he's not far enough. Uh, let's cheat and see where he is. I think he's over here. So he's right there. Which is not really that great. Uh, we'll see if he moves here. If he does, that's cool. <laughs> I'm about to get all kinds of pottery, I believe. This is a really kind of weird setup, but that's cool. It's kind of how the Mongols are. Oh, it's Sea Males 13. Welcome, Sea Males. It's good to have you. Join the team. Let's see here. Let's end the turn. Oh, it's gonna work. Look at this. So that happened a little later than I thought. Maybe my head's just kind of messed up there. And we got some gold and pottery. So that's about as good of a start as the Mongols could ever really ask for. So. Let's take advantage, shall we? Let's get some horsies. Oh, you see that? So this is what I'm talking about with the Mongols. This is actually six trade from two tiles, so you're getting that 50% bonus. Pretty awesome if you ask me. That's not too bad. So what I could do is I could take advantage of that and work some uh, production instead. Move that over. I got... And I didn't even mention it. Thank you, chat. Thank you. I got pottery. Which means I can make all kinds of pots and start selling them on Etsy and DeviantArt.com. I don't know. What do you do with a bunch of pottery? I have no idea. I guess you could have dinnerware. I really don't know what you would do with that. But look at these stupid cities back here. It's like not even worth running back there to go capture those. Because I don't even know what I would do with that. Now they do have... They are next to water. So that's kind of cool. So, I don't know. Let's have this guy run around. Try to get something useful. Go to the farmer's market with my pottery, I guess. Yeah, I don't know, man. Well, I could send this warrior down here get those cities and he's expendable I would say what we really want are the horsies we want horsies that's gonna take us two turns so at least we only have you know three of these clowns to deal with instead of four uh, okay I have a feeling one of these is maybe a name tile gotta figure that out here Need all the gold we can get. These clowns. 
All right. Got horsies. Let's keep it going. Let's see what we can do. Uh, okay. Where's my name tile? Not that one. I gotta heal these guys up before I get murdered. Oh, there we go. That's what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for. Alright, one, two. Alright, so this one's closer, so I'm gonna go ahead and go this way. Might as well heal him up. There's no sense in pretending I don't have to. Get me a Keshik. Now, really, I only have access to these trees right here. So, yeah, I don't really have as many trees as I would like to have here. At least I can rush a horse, so that's something. Get these guys out. So we can use six gold here. This may actually be a little bit more efficient right here. <sighs> I think that would be better. At least we can get some <laughs> some decent uh, gold. Six gold, amazing. And start exploring this map. Uh, what can you find? Go find something. Build a wall. Yeah, you can get Mongols with four movement pretty early in the game, which is a pretty scary thought. I maybe could have saved that run with a wall genocide, but it would have cost me so much money that I would have just fallen behind in other ways. So I don't, I don't know that that would have been a certainty. Uh, maybe. I mean, it didn't work out, so something else should have been tried, I suppose. Probably just should just sell these warriors because they're just so useless. Yes, the, Mongol the Mongols are mountain men, that's for sure. Whoa! Are you serious? Making that Mongol really work. That Keshik really work for it. Goodness. Oh, sweet, a villager hut. Need all the help I can get here. Still cannot build. A three P one. Good to see you, man. Uh, let's see. Go do something with this guy. A one city challenge. It's true. I haven't done one in a while. Yay! Wow, do the Mongols not get any map knowledge either? Like they just join up and I don't even get any map knowledge from him either? Is it, so it's even worse than I remembered. A Greek one, huh? 
Awesome. Thanks, Still Killer. I'm glad it helps. Yeah, I've had a lot of people saying my videos have been helping them out, helping them understand the game a little better. I, I mean, I love this game. It's one of really the all one of the all time great single player games, in my opinion. Good night, Chaos Worker. Um, can I do some? What can I get here? Masonry. What would actually help me? Maybe get alphabet? Nope. Nope. Plenty of barbarians, so I guess I'll have some uh, resources I can take advantage of, which is cool. Now, I see quite a few mountains over here. That could be a great thing later on, but it's, I'm going to have to be patient. I'm going to have to wait until the industrial era until I can really make, take advantage of those mountains. Get that plus two sweetness production from the mountains. The, you know, the Mongols are terrible, but you can have a pretty amazing production city with the Mongols. Like 200 plus without even blinking. Um, I'm going to rush it out of the next turn. That city's kind of far anyway, so might as well just wait. What's over here? I kind of like the positioning I've got here, though. I think it's pretty sweet. I'm not going to complain at all. Let's move this guy forward. I know it's over there. So actually, I, the villagers... So I noticed the villagers, the friendly hut, they gave me map knowledge and told me about those barbarians over there. But the, um, the barbarians don't. I guess they're just like, hey man, forget it. Alright, so I guess we've got... Yeah, looks like we've got water over here is what we've got. And then that goes north to somewhere. Might as well take advantage. Get whatever we can here. Looks like we're... Oh, look, look, look. Actually, it's not a dead end over there. It's actually a whole bunch of stuff over there. Looks like there's some more things over there. Thirty-six, twenty-eight. I'm gonna rush it out of here. It's the cheapest one. Uh, I really only need. I can probably switch this one over to gold until I'm done with my horsies. And start leveraging that gold, that sweet, sweet gold. <laughs> Turn one pottery. I'm going to do a pottery only domination victory or something like that. Seems like a must at this point. Alright, so I'll make two more horsies. Uh, I think this guy's done exploring, so he could probably be to get rid of that guy. Unless I could get the name Tile. Yep, there we go. There we go, boys. Made him useful after all. over there. Come on, boys. Do your best. Not too bad, not too bad. At least you didn't lose two, which would be total disaster. All 
Alright, just two more horses to go. Croissants. Yeah, the Mongols could be good. All you would have to do is remove that ridiculous barbarian village nonsense. And then they would be amazing. Well, at least mediocre, at least. Oops. Thanks for that zero map knowledge. Thank you. So what do we got here? Rush this one out. Get down to five gold. Question is, do I go and join these guys? I think I need to go up here. Wipe out some of these uh, barb huts out here on the north. And I just hope this goes well. Ideally, you don't want to split your horse armies up like this, but looks like I'll have to. Alright, gold, gold, gold. 14 gold a turn. Amazing. Just one more Keshik to go. Alright, can I rush it yet? What? No. <laughs> well, I see the Spanish. That could be good. <laughs> I would put the Spanish on my list of easy, of lazy AI defenders. So we'll see how they what they do here. Ugh, so bad. Keshek's gonna get out there late. Wish I could sell that warrior. Don't really need him at this point. Yeah, I could get. Hey, all states, thanks for joining up. Yeah, I'm thinking I could potentially get some goodies from the Spanish. At the bare, at the bare minimum, I could get. They're usually kind of rich, so I could sell them some techs. Sell them pottery. They'll be all over it. Be like, hell yeah, pottery? That's what I'm talking about, son. Absolutely. So, let's uh, proceed to the next turn. I know there's a name tile in here somewhere. Open up this map info here. What's going on, Spain? Oh no, we're talking. We're gonna talk. I seek technology. Oh, what do you know? You have bronze working. Of course they have bronze working. Why wouldn't they have bronze working? Pottery? You guys want pottery? What about horseback riding? Give me all your money. I have none. Give me some money! <laughs> Don't give it to them. They might win. Horseback riding is really not a tech that really bothers me. They can have horseback riding. They're not going to make horses. 
It's so rare that the AI makes horses. They are way too cool for horses, I'm telling you. There might be something down here. I'm going to send this guy down there. Alright, finally. You're selling pottery. I, it's powerful knowledge, I gotta admit. Um, Alright, 18... So I could go for alphabet. What's better? Go for my settler? Free settler would be cool. Do I need the free settler? That's the question. Do I need the free settler? It would take me four turns. I'm thinking the answer is no. I think the answer is no, bros. I think we're just going to go... Let's go for the uh, science, then. Alright. 18 per turn. Let's see what we can do with that. So, uh, Madrid... Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good there. Alright, so if it's four, five, or three, we attack. If it's 15, we run for our lives. Let's see. Even better. 2.5. Man, what are you clowns doing? Get him! Oh, blitz? Absolutely. Are we seriously going to get navigation? <laughs> they got bronze working, though. So that means I get their lowest tech, unfortunately, but I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take bronze working. Unbelievable. This is a good run. This is a good run. I got robbed. Got robbed, though. See you, run, Luke. Yeah, bronze working. Yay! Really thrilled about that. 20 tech. No, 20 beakers, I'll take it. It's free. Obviously, it's a major loss, though. Um, okay, this is annoying, but I gotta do this. Getting way too much overflow from this. Way too much overflow. So. Kind of annoying to have to micromanage this like this, but it's better. It's better off this way. You don't want that much. That's a lot of overflow. That's a big waste. Especially at this early stage. You don't want to do that. So now we'll get two. We'll get two tech. I can't believe they didn't have an archer built. They had bronze working. That was pretty shocking, to be honest. Pretty shocking, to be honest. All right. Where's the name tile? I know you're there somewhere. Um, I'm at four techs, so I'll have uh, I'll have March soon. Hey, 
praying lull. Welcome aboard. Oh boy, another city. I love it. I love cities. I can't get enough. Actually, that's nice because that'll get me to 20 instead of 18. So that's handy. Um. Oh, it's a dead end. Are you serious? It's a dead end, boys. Okay. Once again, fix these stupid cities. Bank some hammers that turn. So, not too bad. Let's see what we're getting here. 29 per turn. The only city that has really good tree access. See if we can get this down to 20. Anyone else have a tree they can get? Oh, this one's good actually. Oh. I just realized this is a ton of tech right here. This is nine because I got a three population city. So that's nine, nine science. Very, very cool. Nice, nice. Beautiful. Switch these over to libraries so we don't actually build something on accident. Don't want some accidental Keshix. <laughs> Library is my go-to building thing. Uh, that'll do. Oh, of course, man. If anyone sends me a link, it's it's on there. It's not my own personal list only. It means world record, not just the Joe Leonard's scope of world. It's everyone. Getting some pretty awesome some pretty awesome tech right now. Indians. Heal up. Oh, are you serious? Can't believe there's another one down here. That guy might have a hell of a time. That guy may not even be strong enough to take that thing down. It might take him like six turns. This is becoming pretty interesting. To be honest, I actually like how this is going. It's about as good as you can ask for. Uh, for the Mongols. I mean, taking out two cities early. Before th 2000 BC. And quite a lot of barbed cities. I mean... It's going to be tough to get much better than that. So. Not bad at all. Yeah. So now we've got Calvary speed bonus. Now it's going to get really fun. At least I'm going to enjoy this. We got a spy. That means Chinese are not in the game. And let's go for Code of Laws. Let's see if the Romans are in the game. No, they're not in the game. So I can get Code of Laws. And get a trading post out of it. Which could be handy because I've, I've got a few cities that have quite a lot of desert tiles. 
No, this is belongs to me. Keep your gift. Whoa, do you see this? A gift of 50 gold? Wow. I've seen 25 gold offered. I've never seen 50 gold be offered for 50 for that many turns apiece. Wow. Have you ever seen that much gold be offered? That is a lot of damn gold. That's blowing my mind. I've I don't think I've ever seen that much gold be offered. Right? Yeah, that's pretty amazing. I'm thinking about taking it because, number one, they probably have a bunch of archers hanging out at their capital. I feel like this will help me more. If it's as much as I would love to annihilate this guy. Fifty gold. That blows me away. I, the problem is I want to see how much gold I have. I don't even know how much gold. You can't beat his ass. If you take the money, then, you know. Then you have to, it forces peace on you. You can't violate the peace agreement. That's a hell of a lot of gold. A lot of gold. <laughs> when you go search YouTube for Civrev, 90% of them were mine. Yeah, I've kind of mastered. I've kind, I think I've nailed down the Civrev search results on YouTube. But to be honest, who, who else's videos would you really want to watch? I've looked around, and not many I really have any good quality, so I don't blame them. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. I hope I don't regret that. We'll see. Yeah, Colonel, I think you're right, man. I think you're right about that. That could be a pretty dope little city right there if I get the trading post and uh, if I get the workshop, both in that city. It could be good. Alright, so I got a spy. See if I can do something cool with that. What the hell? Where's that name tile? Oh, see? I don't have three movement yet. Guys, gonna be oh 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 oh. Man, this is juicy. Are these all set up properly? No. Let's fix them. Science, science, science. Wonderlicious. You're delicious. Damn, we're getting 31 tech per turn with the Mongols. I developed Nevergrind, man. Not, I, not Neverbot. I did not develop Neverbot. Holy cow. This is so cool. I'm so thrilled about this start. Just thrilled. <laughs> Uh, I cannot believe you recognize that song, Genocide. It's a dope little show, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, man. Are these none of these seriously named tiles? Oh, 
Oh, they put my settler way over here. Look at this. Oh, this would be a nice little spot right over here. Look at that. That would be a nice spot right there. Three trees right here. That would be pretty dope. Pretty dope. Let's do it, fammy. Fammy lammy. Heal up! What could I do with all this gold? Expand! That's what I could do. Got nine turns apiece, Gandhi. You think about attacking me. That's right. Run back. Trading post built in Karakorum. Okay. Alright, let's make a change. Oh, we need currency so badly. Some DT knowledge on them. What is that? DT knowledge. Let's see here. Uh, boy. Literacy would be pretty nice at this point. But so would currency. I never know how to go, how to prioritize currency versus irrigation versus literacy. I mean, literacy will get you to currency faster. Currency will get you explore, expansion faster. It's like, I don't know. What do you, what do you do? This is a tough decision. I hate this decision. I'm gonna go with, uh... I need money. I need money, boys. This is all deity all the time on this channel, man. We don't screw around around here. None of them baby levels. Changing your diaper for you and all that. Play deity around here. This is scary. I could lose this. Let's see what happens. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh we got it. That was good. Oh, don't feel bad, 50 states. Everyone starts somewhere. You have to start somewhere, so. I believe I started on Warlord. So. You know, nothing wrong with that. See, look how dumb this is. This gave me a trading post here, but this is a terrible spot for a trading post right here. Hey, Mike. Glad you're enjoying the content, man. Dude, my, my my metrics, my analytics on YouTube, they look they're like skyrocketing, man. It's awesome. I'm really really pleased with that. Looks like people are enjoying the content on a nine year old game, and I'm okay with that because I love this game and uh, I don't really want to play anything else to be honest. Oh okay. So I don't want to expand out of these because I captured those. I don't want to expand out of any of these awesome cities that I got. So I want to expand like out of here. It's gonna cost. Look how expensive this is. I just got done playing. I just got done playing um, the Americans, so I'm having culture shock right now. That I have to spend 60 gold for a settler. That's pretty outrageous. But that's just how it is, I guess, for these normal civilizations uh, I'm gonna have to really take advantage and I'm gonna have to play this like smart actually uh, put my cities in good locations and everything like not just slap them down willy-nilly so let's see if we can do that
Uh, this would be a good spot. Ooh, no, that wouldn't be good. I need to get, take advantage of this whale. But then I would kill a tree. And I don't want to kill a tree. Don't want to do that. I love trees. I need trees so badly. Oh, this is so hard. Well, I could go here. That's kind of a cool spot because it has spice right here. That could be nice. It has access to two trees. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's do it. A tree, man! It's right here. Just got trees. Trees, trees, trees. That's how you get production. Gotta work trees. Forest? What do you call them? Forest? Or trees. Whatever. Uh, yeah, that's actually the only spot I can expand from. I could expand from here. I mean, yeah, this is a pretty useless city. Might as well. It's my capital, but it's also worthless. Uh. Oh, you know what? One of the best things you can have is oxen. Oxen's like the the expansion resource. If you can sit on uh So you see you get food and hammers. You get food and hammers from oxen, so that's everything you need to expand. So that's a beautiful thing. And you know, you got look at this. This could be a really sweet This could be like my kick butt production city right here. If I put this here, you have mountains, mountains coal oxen get a courthouse that would expand you to all kinds of mountains man and hills and holy cow imagine if you got man that's scary this could be an awesome city right here getting excited Whew. sweating win a game in one turn Domination one turn. I should do like a parody video where I'm like, the thumbnail says domination victory in one turn on deity. And I don't know, I would have to come up with some kind of comical thing in the video. I don't know what I would do. But I like the thumbnail idea. I don't think I'm going to beat that positioning right there. That is amazing. It's going to take me a couple turns to get there though. <laughs> uh. All right, that's pretty darn good. There are a lot of good things that happened in just this one turn. So I'm happy about that. Let's go ahead and end that turn. Oh, here we go. Another legion. Look at that. Look at that. A whale. Am I seriously not going to take advantage of that whale? I have to go for it. Whales are too lovely. And then I could put another one like here. See I'm being tact tactical now? Because I have, I'm a Mongols. So I have to be, I have to think a little harder as a Mongol. Can't just plant cities wherever the heck I want. I would free up that tree right there. You could go right here. I think it's too important to use this whale, so it's gonna have to do it. Yeah, the whale's too important, so I'm gonna have to adjust what I was doing there. That's okay. Where'd that other guy go? Someone's down here. Who's down here? Give me a great person. Let's go meet up with him. Got money or what? He's got no money. 
Beef stroganoff. He's got no money. I have knowledge for sale. What do you want? I seek knowledge. You want some money? World events. What do you know? Oh, the Japanese are in the game. Let's arrange a meeting. Hello! I didn't know you were right there. Look at that. This is such good positioning right here. So good. There's another whale over here. I should take advantage of that one too. Um, I can expand out of these barbarian cities if I actually get... I need irrigation so that I can make those cities expandable. Hey, 50 states. Welcome back, fam. Uh, what's up here? Anything cool? Doesn't look like it. Does not look like it. I think this is the spot right there. Best way to capture a capital early? Walk in. Undefended capital. That's the best way. I've been becoming really good at walk-ins lately. I've been getting them like every game now. Unless like something just good, just have bad luck. It's been happening a lot. Samarkand. Oh man. Man, that's a lot of currency. I wonder how lazy Japan is right now. I have seen no archer armies as late as like the 1000s. But I don't know. We'll see what's going on next turn here. I don't appreciate these guys marching all over. That's what I was trying to get view of their city here. Alright, they don't have anything. So let's get out of here. Maybe we can cause some problems for the uh, Japanese. Maybe we can mess them up. We'll see. And bare minimum, maybe we can get a great person, right? So we got this, uh, got this guy standing around. Ooh, steam power. Ooh. I stream Sunday and Thursday. I stream on both. Nice little city right here, huh? Look at that. It's gonna be real nice. Real nice. This guy is like 900 million miles away from everybody. Maybe you can jump on a boat though. Could end up using them for something. Can't afford a boat, but we could think about a boat. No expanding quite yet, so um uh, where are my expansion cities here? Alright, that'll save us a little bit of production and none of these cities. Uh it's probably just good enough. I don't have to worry. Wow, look at that. Kyoto growing like crazy. They got four water tiles. Ooh. 
Where does it say Saturday? I thought I updated it. Well, initially when I started, it was uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, but I changed that Saturday to Sunday, so... If it says Saturday somewhere, I need to go find it and change it. The question is, how much defense do they have here? Is it five? A market built in Madrid. That's a very good thing. Very good. <laughs> Whew. That means I have the trade bonus from the captured city plus a market. So that means 18 gold. No one's got masonry yet. Yeah, it might be. I think Nippon is in for some uh, excitement here. There's, they must have an archer army by now. I mean, come on. Surely. Um, so we need literacy right now. Damn, what kind of caravan bonus is that? Yeah, Colonel 87, I think you're right. It would be pretty absurd if they didn't. But I've seen weirder things, to be honest. Oh, that's too bad. That kind of messes me up. Hopefully I don't get injured here. Nope! Nope! Yes! No, man, I've seen it before. I've seen Romans, I've seen the... The thing is, they haven't really been threatened up until this turn. And sometimes they just get lazy. They'll only build one archer. Um, I'm probably going to have to retreat. That's the truth of it. Oh! Dude! Holy moly! Dude, I told you. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> there is no way. Are you kidding? Dude, I told you. I told you they get lazy. Especially if you don't contact them. That was the first time they ever saw me. And look at the size of the city. It's six population, guys. It's six. That means the whole time they were working technology, man. They were working uh, trade tiles this whole time. 51 gold? Are you serious? <laughs> oh, my. Goodness, I don't even, I'm just like shocked right now. Completely shocked. <laughs> I did not expect that. World record domination is 2100, but this would... I could get domination here. It would be a really amazing time. For the for the Mongols. Wow. Whew. I almost want to build um Almost want to build a library here. Library in Colossus? Why not? What would be wrong with that? There would be nothing wrong with that at all.
Is anything over here? This is insane. I got a courthouse here and a library and a great scientist and Colossus. Could be exciting. I'm not sure it's worth it though. Am I going for India? That depends. That depends. Do I want a domination victory? Man, you know what the problem is though? They're gonna swap they're gonna swap over to fundamentalism real soon. They have four techs, and they're gonna go to number five and get religion for free. And they're gonna They're already running around with legions all over the place. So that means they're gonna have three attack with a single unit or even more if they army up they'll have nine attack no there's only uh only the indians are left <laughs> world record econ victory that would be funny with the mongols deal with it yeah i mean this is situates me really well for any kind of victory obviously Really well. Did I forget to change that? That hurts. That's not good. Let's make sure we're getting our gold. Taking advantage of that. All right. Hmm. Yeah, I think the library idea is pretty dumb. So let's not do that. Let's just take advantage of this, be smart, leverage out some settlers here. I think that's the right the right thing to do. Let's be smart. We even got some good resources around here. We got whales. We got all kinds of dye. More whales. So let's be smart. Let's be smart. Maybe I could even use his fish just to humiliate him. I will plant right here and then just use his fish and make him like it. Cultural victory? Yeah, that could be interesting. We haven't even had any great people yet, so we'll see what happens when they jump into the mix. Um, let me do a quick brush through. They're on gold. You're on tech. You're doing something. Oh! It's awesome freak. Join in the fray. Uh, okay. Tech. Tech, tech, tech. Teching up. All kinds of tech. He's got tech. You've got tech. Everybody's got tech. So let's expand. We have a little bit of a capability. We have the ability to expand at this time. And I'm thinking right down here would look pretty good at the moment. So let's do that. And he's all done. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that could happen, but I think we'll be alright. We've got five turns of, pe of peace remaining with these guys. And 
I think this is just A-OK. -okay. I think we'll be fine. Let's go ahead and go to the next turn. Look at him, man! They're like... All up in my space. Don't appreciate that. Alright, there's absolutely nothing over here. Now, because I'm Mongols, I have absolutely no idea how many artifacts are in the game. Because, I mean, look how dumb this is. 30 gold to Delhi, or I could just sell it. Why would I send it to Delhi if I can't even get more money? That's pretty dumb. So let me run the settler over here. Look at that! A whale! Get a whale, marble, and steal his fish. Oh. So you'll notice the Indians only have two tectiles here. So what I could do is I could steal, try to steal one of his tectiles, and then we could laugh at him. Yeah, I'm just going to use this caravan to help with expansion. Whoopsies. Hate that. Wish I could prevent that. That's really annoying. Follow, follow. Hate to plant on a tree, but whales right there. A militia army? Yeah, I think so. I think that's a name tile right here. So let's go get that. Um, let's see here. He's ugly. I need a Oh, look at this guy. Look at that. Could expand from there. Question is, where would I go? It's pretty good over here. So, I could also die over here. So that's worth pursuing as well. I bet there's some juicy stuff on this peninsula that I haven't even found yet. So, let's go make use of that. See? This is down to two, but it's still pretty good. Love oxen. So good. I know that warrior, I feel so bad for him. But he'll understand. It's building character. He's running around on that peninsula doing his best. Look at him. He's doing great. He's doing a great job. I'm going to feel bad when I, when I sell him. That's going to be kind of sad, but that's okay. Uh, Alright, everyone's working on something interesting. Oh, here we go. Getting literacy first. So that's really cool. Alright, now that I have literacy and I have currency, I'm going to switch hardcore expansion right now. I'm not messing around. We're going to expand like no one's ever expanded in the history of this game. You ready? Mongols are going to go bananas. 64 masonry? Absolutely. No problem. Keep an eye on these guys. Make sure they give us a great builder. What are you doing? 30 gold? You're terrible. Alright. What else? Let's run this guy over here. Some good little resources over there. 
We're gonna swap over to gold. Where else? What we're gonna do is we're gonna get masonry in one turn. We're gonna move these capitals that we captured over to something that's useful. Down to 46. We're gonna do the old one tech per turn trick here. This one weird trick that'll earn you fast victories. It's a weird trick. Uh, you're a bad city. Very bad. So we just need 30 tech. Let's just keep changing these cities over. Uh, you're okay. Gold. 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 What are we at? 33? Alright. Let's at 31. Close enough. And now... From, now we gotta watch this. We're down to three turns. He's left, so... I know these guys are gonna try something stupid. Seal these guys up. And give me some money. Big money, big prizes. Stop! Oh, didn't do it. That's depressing. It's gonna be a nice city right there. Alrighty. We have to expand. Who's got the most production? Is it you? I don't think so. I think it's you. I can fill out this peninsula pretty quickly. Now, I got a whale here. <laughs> yes, I was naming the cities after you. That was pretty fun, wasn't it? Put one city here, and one city there, and that's it. I can only squeeze two cities in over here, so that's going to have to be the, my best. Simply my best. Name a city after you? You got it, Genocide. I Man, I'll do anything for you, buddy. Anything! Not this city. The next one. Trust me, you didn't want this city. This wasn't a good one. You want a nice city. on the button. Look at that. That's good. Can I expand? Nope. I have 23 gold. 57 to turn. Pretty darn good, folks. We are doing great. We're going to deprive these guys. Take their little city away. How many cities we got? 17 cities. That's amazing. That is amazing for Mongols in 1100 BC. I don't even think the Americans had that many. This start is so good. Alright. Basically trying to position all these settlers in a manner that will... I want to get on the die, get on the whales, get on the fish, anything that's good, get on it. Alright, so we're going to have to make some adjustments here because we're going to need 50 tech. So we're going to have to bump that up a little bit. This is going to be a nice city right here. You, you, This is the one that you wanted. Right here. This is a nice one. Wow. 
Bollum, Bollum. <laughs> this one's for you, buddy. I am. you uh oh that's depressing so I could put one here and I guess one here gotta plan these things out can't just slap things down willy-nilly do it right you don't want to mess around with it. you got to make really leverage your die as best as you can um, this would be a good little spot right here, too. Let's not play too many silly games over here. I know these Indians... <laughs> 50 cities. Uh, that's funny. See? Two turns of peace left, he's still wandering all over the place. Like he doesn't know what's going on. Alright. What are you doing? Build something else, man. You already got a trade fair or something. I don't like seeing library on that city. <sighs> now where could you go? One, two, one, two. Could go there. Really could. Just worried about culture going bananas. May have to just forego this little tree right here. Can anyone even build one anyway? I'm like. Daydreaming about things I'm gonna build. But I don't even have the production to do it. Oh, no. Who Cannot build a settler. Unless I give this guy some goodies. Do you have any money yet? Poor bastard. But then you'll get fundamentalism. I kind of don't want to do that. Sonali, you want one, man? With the, you want you want it with the numbers or without the numbers? You want the 915 in there? Is that important? Or you just want Sonali? There we go. One turn. <laughs> Alright, let's sell this guy. Sorry. You weren't that important after all. Another city right here. Here you go. There you go, Sonali. Am I saying it right? You get a state, you get a city, you get a city, you get a city. Man, it's like Oprah. I'm 
So now. All right, two syllables. Fair enough. All right, 52. This is the technique I like to use when I'm trying to tech up. There we go. So now we're getting 46 gold, 50 irrigation. Pretty clean, pretty clean. Sure thing, bro. I think 50 states needs one. I can't believe how clean this game is going. It's blowing my mind. I don't think my American game with this this clean. Oof. I mean, I just got plus one population to like 18 or 19 cities. That is a that is a supernova. Holy cow! That is nuts. Whew. I think democracy's the well. I'm still expanding. I don't think it's time yet. I feel like you got to have at least 14 techs to hit to go with democracy. Because once you get 14 techs, then you get four population, and then uh, four population from starting cities, and then you can expand and at least still have two. I feel like that's a little more doable math. Let's do it. Let's get us some uh, construction. I'm down with that. Oh, that's not what I meant. I didn't want that right there. But I guess it's going to have to do now. This is my all 50 states. I did not mean to do that. I meant to move. Whoops. Oh well. Looks like that's a production city. Let's make it a growth city. Whoopsie poopsie. Nothing I can do now. Sorry, all 50 states. Let's take the high ground before this turn changes over. Still 30 gold. Damn. Genocide, I gave you a city, man. I gave you one. How can I space these cities out? That's a real bummer. Nothing I can do about it now, though. Let's let my horses take care of business if things get ugly this next turn. Die over there. So that's nice. Uh, down to 10 gold, so I don't think I'll be doing anything with that. I'm going to have to redo all these cities because of that bonus. Always a blessing in disguise, isn't it? Back up to six population in this city already. Go. 
old, I guess. This is a pretty huge boost for the Mongols. Um, I, don't even, I can't even imagine how much I'm going to be getting after this. Oh my goodness, 24 gold from this one city. Very nice, very, very nice. I don't even think it's worth expanding here, to be honest. Just like switch it over to library. Because this position's really not that great. guy down two All right, this is good because they got three and this is also a captured city another go with the build no units domination game you must be talking about the uh, upload to YouTube today yeah so that's actually the upload on Saturday you'll see the most I call it the greatest game ever played in the history of civilization. If you didn't catch that game live on Twitch, it was the most ridiculous, lucky, uh, just mind-blowing, like, rare situation to ever happen. The second attempt with England is a ridiculous game. I'm going to feature that in my channel. I mean, you will never see a game of Civ like that ever again. Uh, the second attempt with England genocide, that game was just an un... I couldn't even dream of that happening in a game. Couldn't even dream it. If I sat down and just came up with the craziest thing that could possibly happen in a build no units domination random map, I, I mean, I couldn't even think that that would even be possible. And you'll see what I'm talking about. If you didn't see it live... You know what I'm talking about when you once you see it. It was insane. Man. So who thinks the Indians are going to capture a city? If they do, I'm going to put some extra science just in case that drops me below and I don't get construction in one turn. So we'll see. 75 gold per turn. Juicy. It might be tricky to find the exact spot in the video. Alright, we got a workshop in Kanbalik. Kanbalik. It's fun to say. Alright. Alright. What can we do here? Engineering sounds good to me. I don't want to get monarchy because we're close to getting a natural culture milestone. Yeah, if they if they attack, they're very foolish. They'll get hammered pretty hard. Getting the engineering going would be nice to get that free building in all these cities. Pretty juicy. Three turns my butt. I'm going to get that in one turn. What, what, why, why is it three turns? I can't, seriously can't get that. Pastor? Maybe I need to go for democracy. Oh, it's because of stupid math. Let's get that in one turn. I'm not doing no two turn nonsense. Come on now. So sad about this whale. The saddest whale. Look how sad. We cannot use him. I Maybe mean, we could. We could put one here, but then we'd be interfering with the die. And I don't know what to do about that. I really messed that one up. Oh, why am I so bad? Why? I'm such a failure. Hmm. 
Yeah, what can I say, man? I messed that one up. I don't want these guys running around. I'm taking them out. Get out of here. See that? It's that stupid trade agreement glitch again. What did you think of the new? of the potential new Civ game on consoles. What do I think of that? I think that would make my channel probably multiply in size by like 100. And it needs to happen. That would honestly be the number one best possible thing to ever happen to this channel. And I hope that it happens every day of my life. This is it's really tough to carve out a niche on Twitch or YouTube or whatever. Uh, it's hard to stand out. And the only reason my channel stands out, well, the main reason is because I play this game and no one else does. So that's why. <laughs> never the fame will never get to my head. Genocide. You'll always be in my heart. Always. The fame means nothing to me. Nothing. Alright. Seriously. Let's build some stuff. Kind of a cool little city right here. Can sit up on these on this hill and get all this food and trees, but tiles are more important right now. Down to 26 gold. Is this guy seriously never going to be good? 30? So ridiculous. Can anyone over here build anything? How about you? Oh! Look at that! Look at that! Wow. That's that... Oh, see, that's that one mountain city I was talking about. Mm, mm, mm. It's going to be sexy. And that thing gets big. I might not even want to expand out of that. That's getting so juicy over here. Courthouse, walls. I might start getting this going. Start thinking about uh, hanging gardens, something like that. Man. What is that going to be when I get steam power? It's going to be like, what, plus three? It's going to be a nasty city right there. Whew. Uh-huh. Okay with that. Let's expand out of these dumpy little cities right here. Take us a little bit. That's okay. They're dumpy. We're not too worried about that. Dumpy city number one. Dumpy. Oh, you don't even have a tree. 
You don't have a tree. What do we got? 82 science? Gold. Gold. Gold? Is that enough? Close enough. Alright, 70 math. Not gonna attack me, is he? Alright. Oh man, ultimate frisbee. Awesome. Well, I'm glad you could join up, man. <laughs> That's funny. All right, so we hit the industrial area, 14 techs. We're cruising at this point. And we just got plus two production from mountains. So we might want to check our cities and make sure we're taking advantage of that. We got math and uh, the catapult. Coming up on so many nice tiles. Coming up on democracy. I think it's safe to switch to democracy. I don't think we'll be attacking anytime soon, so we need to get that right away. Since we hit the uh, 14 tech thing, then we could at least expand once out of a city. So let's make sure we examine that closely and don't mess that up. Kind of want a boat. Would be nice. Can I sell you and get a boat? <laughs> yeah, seriously. You're number one. How can you even doubt? How do you even doubt it? Oh, coming up on so many texts, it's been believable. Gold. Oh man, see? Getting uh, mountain advantages right there. I think I should just sell this. I don't need this stupid thing. Don't mess this one up, Joe. The awesome city of Kazan. Still no great person. I don't even know if or when they ever got one. Not sure. Let's build a temple. Watch this. I'll plant this sucker right in his face. I don't care. Take your damn tile, buddy. I have to build a temple. We'll see. Get out of here. I'm thinking about cultural, but we'll see what happens. You gotta wait until that first great person comes along and then you can start making decisions. Are you serious? Don't make me wreck you. Uh... No, there's fish up there too. Damn. G. 
juicy. Juicy stuff. Alright, so we're going to have to swap over to gold. Quite a few places. Everywhere except there. Gold. Gold. Oh! Man, look at these mountains. It's nice. Woo! Oh, man. Gold. Gold. No more gold. Yeah. That's enough. That's enough. So, you just balance that out and try to get... Whew! Do I go for that? I feel like it's worth it. <coughs> Excuse me. I feel like I should be taking advantage of those mountain tiles. Three productions, pretty awesome. I got some gold in my gold in my pockets here too. I should brush this guy. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't even have my first great person. Hey, Detour. Good to see you, man. The only problem is their resources get scaled back, Luca. But it is nice. I mean... What do I do in this situation? I got... Some banging production right here, but I don't know. Like seven turns, you'd get a library. I mean, technically, I guess that's an, a better thing, because then you could swap it to science later on. So you benefit in seven turns, fourteen turns, you'd benefit. I don't know if that's really worth it, though. I feel like it's kind of. Too long term. A little bit confusing, to be honest. All right, I have no gold, so I think we're good. And I think we cleaned out all those annoying Indian strikers. <coughs> he thinks he wants to be at war with me. Oh, they used a great person. Wow, a pikeman. Let's change. Let's get engineering. Yeah, this is amazing for the Mongols. The city of Detour. Oh, so stupid. You see what I just did? I can't settle there. Is a stupid barbarian city that is totally worthless. <sighs> yeah, that was a pretty awful use of a humanitarian right there. Could have at least settled him. That would have been awesome for me. <sighs> Telling you. Crap I deal with in this game. 
Yeah, Luca does need a city. <laughs> this game is lit. It absolutely is. It's like there's so many landlocked cities I could make, but at the Mongols, I don't think like they can't afford that. Wow, forty gold. That's worthless. Run these guys over and harass them. Swap a lot of these back now. Back to gold. Get quite a bit of gold. Gold, gold, gold. Wonderific, you're terrific. Uh, you. Gold, gold, gold. Alright. I'm 46. Too much science. We're overloading. Oh wait, I want less science, not more. Less science. Can we get less? Oop. There we go. One turn. Super Y addiction. It's a nice song, man. Here we go. You ready? So you can pull it up for you real quick. can change the chairs into something else. What letters are these? C! H! What sound does C H make? I don't know. Yes, C and H make the sound CH. And then the ending, airs. CH. Oh. Airs. Ears. What word is this? I don't know. Cheers. What word is it? Cheers. Cheers is an ears word. I oh. love words that end in ears. Ears, chairs, stairs. Wonderific, you're terrific. Pairs, fairs, ears. Pairs, pairs. Wonderific, you're terrific. Ears. Okay. Ears. Let's change the chairs into something else. What Good word idea. is this? Let's read it. What's the first letter? <laughs> uh. Alright, so let's get university. A little rhyming exercise for you guys. Uh, I have nowhere to, good to put this, so this guy's going right here, guys. So, yeah. Maybe it'll be cool. Follow, follow. No, man, we're doing a little rhyming. A little bit of rhyming. <laughs> eh, so that city's a little worthless, so what? Filled out the continent here to a reasonable degree. See what happens when you have kids? That's like all I know. Is kids songs. It's 
Damn, what is the deal here? I cannot believe how long it is taking for me to get a great person. Does it always take this long? What goes into developing games? Uh, an insane amount of dedication. Oh, that's probably the number number one thing that comes to mind for me. And a lot of free time. Damn, it's 240 to get university? Yeah, I don't know why it's taking me so long to get... I feel like it's taking longer than usual. Ugh. Kind of grossed out by this at the moment. Like, I don't want to get monarchy or invention because I'm going to get this great person. So it's like a waste. And then researching banking is a waste because you get that from gold. So, I mean, I guess I'm going to go to university. Try to get that in one turn, maybe? We'll see. Um, or at least close. Can we even get there? I don't think we can. It's kind of a, kind of a stretch. I'm trying to produce culture. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best, man. Did you notice I backfilled? I backfilled navigation. I never researched it. <laughs> so I noticed all these whales are kicking in. See my whales? They're kicking in. Never researched it. You got it, Luca. I'm on it, if I remember. Hundred eighty six per turn. Well, if I look at it this way, in two turns I'll get university and banking because I'll get the gold overflow. Well, it depends on how much money I spend on rushing settlers here, I suppose. Let's rush it from this dumpy city right here. Oh, do you see what just happened there? I f totally forgot about that. I'm in democracy. Oh. I'm in democracy, so I can't even expand from these. Man, what a bunch of BS. Forgot about that nonsense. Damn it. I have to swap these over to li uh, library. At least I don't lose this production, so not a complete loss. Oh man, 195, pretty close, pretty close. Library? Am I building settlers anywhere where there's two production? I mean, two population. I hope not. Let's look. Let's change this guy over. Uh. Hmm. Could sell this guy. That's nah, not going to get me anywhere. I 
yeah, there's no way I can get there. And maybe I'll just have to save my gold and try to get banking. Halt expansion for a little bit. Need the gold. <laughs> Bridge quit in 1970 AD. Oh man. It gets hard. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to end this turn. So depressed I'm not getting this in one turn. All because of this great person. Fundamentalism! Oh no. They're going to kill me. I'm going to run this guy over. Just be a jerk. Is that ever going to give me more money? Alright, we're looking at some pretty significant overflow here. About 150, that should get us banking though, so that's going to be good. It's going to be great. Ugh. Like I almost have to expand from here. I just really can't avoid it. So it's just going to have to happen. Go see what's up here. It's not going to be the super city I hope for. It's just I don't... I need the... I need places to build settlers. It's just not really working right now. Like, what resources can I take advantage of? There's a whale. I don't see anything that great down there, to be honest. So I need to explore this peninsula. I think there's something happening over here. Here's one little pro tip I like to point out to people. You see how this die is right here? Um, a resource never has an adjacent resource next to it. So you know for a fact that none of these tiles have a resource. So that means that planning over here will not get you a resource. So if you had thick fog and you couldn't see, you'd know for a fact you're not going to get anything like a whale or even fish or anything. So this is not really the best spot, but it will get you three water tiles and a couple trees. Okay. And I don't want to expand out of here because I got the trade bonus, so... Do what we can. Alright, here we go. University. Here it comes. How many techs, how many cities at this point? 25? 25 cities in 400 BC is pretty gangster for the Mongols, so let's keep this in perspective here. Alright, plus one. Awesome. And heard a city grow. It's a good thing. Got banking. So I think we should actually go for industrialization, I believe. Um, let's put this on walls. And we'll wait for this thing to grow up to three. We'll expand again. Oh, but dude. Oh, I'm getting no culture? Oh, I'm such an idiot. I should have switched my tech too early. That's what it was. I totally forgot about that. That's a bummer. What a waste. I should just reset. It's not even worth finishing.
Temples, man. Temples. I'm gonna wreck his... I don't even want him using his trees. I don't want him using them. My trees. Dude, I don't even care. Just take the stupid camel. I don't care. I hate you guys. Indians. Jerks. On the bright side. Boy, this is gonna be weird. Oh boy. I better rush a bunch of things, because I, I gotta get rid of this gold. Because I'm gonna get monarchy and I'm gonna get Yeah. Oh, look at that. Way up here. Some more die. How about that? Nowhere to expand down there. guys out of here. One tile wonder city right here. Finding it very difficult to expand to the bottom right down there. Need a boat. That's what I really need. Sonic playthrough. No one wants to see me play that game, man. I think it's time to send a boat. Galleon. Okay. Gotta get rid of some of this gold for real quick. <laughs> I'm so close to getting a... Uh, really so close. I, I don't know. I, I'm so close to getting a steam... What do you call it? A cruiser? So, maybe I'll hold off. Getting close to that cruiser. Yay, I got die. City. What a beefcake. There you go. Made a nice little beefy city for you. looks good, but the question is, what the heck's over here? I have no idea. Could be something better. I kind of doubt it, so I'm just going to plant. There you go, buddy. Man, I'm a small-time, small-potato streamer. I can only stream one game. If I play anything else, no one will show up. 
gotta stick. You're gonna confuse the audience. You gotta stick to one game, genocide. You can't just be playing all kinds of games, all kinds of crazy stuff. Just pull stuff out of my library. Watch some. Watch, watch some guy play some random game. Don't you know how this works? Come on, man. <laughs> uh. <laughs> all right we've got some good we're doing all right here folks we got 280 invention 280 tech a turn Pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Uh. Alright, so we just got two great people. How great. How great for us. Yeah, we got some pretty good tech, man. Let's get steam power. We need that. Definitely. Oh. Auto! Hooray! It's an auto! Oh, wow. Alright. We done got auto. That's a good thing. Scientists are good. I like scientists. You like scientists? I like science. Science is really good. Atomic theory, holy cow. Holy cow. Does this game want me to get a tech victory? It's giving me scientists. Can I get this in one turn? Maybe. Could I get it in one turn? That is the question. No. Is it even possible? Um, way too expensive. The problem with that captured city bonus is that your enemies almost never. You almost never get good resources in a captured city, so that's one problem with that. It's usually just plain tiles. I don't think we're going to get the double great person bonus. If we do, I'll be pretty sad. I think it's coming next turn. So we'll see. city right here. I got a courthouse. Not bad at all. Hells yeah. A temple? Hmm. I think we can move this over. my single city for gold. What's going on here? Let's switch over. Need science right now, buddy. Getting these texts one in one turn is really important. Because two turns is longer than one turn. <laughs> True story. I should get three great si great people in a row. So I got one this turn. I got invention, so I should get it next turn. And then I'm going to hit 500 gold, and then I'll get it two turns from now. So I should get three great people in a row here.
Yeah, this is filled from invention right now. So I believe this should work. And when you get those uh, goals, it doesn't hit until the next turn. The only time it hits the turn of is when you hit the culture milestone. So. But what I could do is rush a library, just to be sure. Could do that. Crazy guy that I am. See the culture? Um, so, what else? What other city has good tech? You do. You have good tech. You have good tech. Is there one with, like, a whale as well? No. be juicy. Doesn't have die, but it has four water from a captured city. Which is pretty good. It could end up getting steam power in one turn. After all, how about that? Wouldn't that be nice? Yay! Now we don't have to worry about the collision either. Culture collision. Oh no! Here they come! Oh! That city's gonna go crazy. We gotta get industrialization. Oh! Gold guy? Yeah, I believe that's a gold guy. Settling this guy. Let's make sure I'm not crazy. 36. It's only kind of annoying because. Well, it's really the better move anyway. No doubt. No doubt about it. Four AM, holy cow, man. You maniac. Don't need that guy. Let's get a legion on that boat. Alas, we have found the Inkor Wat. Hmm. Don't think we'll be getting that in one turn. They're not that cool. Okay. No way. Cannot hit that. Wish that was seven cities of gold. That would be nice. Yeah, it's going to be two turns for that. Don't see any way around that. How many cities I got? 27. spoiled like mad I have to research industrialization in two turns which is 
pretty damn spoiled of me. An amazing city right here. Look at that. Keep popping them out. Uh, so we're going to get... I think it's Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Which is okay. Not great. It's okay. So, five. I believe if someone has Hanging Gardens of Babylon built, it becomes an East India Company. Four turns. Look at that. Some serious production right there. Whew. Wish I could grow that city a, bit, a little bit better. Let me hang. Let me hang out. Get hanging gardens of Babylon here, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, I think you. I think you could possibly get East India. We'll come back. May even rush a second cruiser just to drive around with. Maybe. <laughs> Say y'all. We're getting communism next turn. Communism. Yeehaw. Five gold in each city. Get railroad. Good tech. Good tech to have. So industrialization is my highest. Wow. Getting that in one turn, so that's a very good thing. Slap down right here. This guy could slap down right here. This could be a nice little setup. Couple decent tiles. Hmm. This is solid. Hip hop. This guy, however, is not solid. He's going to have to go somewhere else. <laughs> Stupid. It blows my mind that I've just realized that the Mongols never know how many artifacts are in the game. Because they're so cool. They're just the best, man. Um, let's get a great person next turn.
Oh well, it's gonna have to go this way. Railroad is an awesome technology. Plus two production in every city is pretty huge. <laughs> so that's gonna help me pump out libraries and everything else that I need. Pretty it's gonna be go a lot more a lot more smoothly here. Hmm. Atomic theory. Corporation. Too important. Great person! Yes! So we'll get that great person next turn. Maybe a great builder. We'll see. I like it. It's a good city right here. What is a crab cake? It's crab in the form of a cake. No tricks. It's exactly what it sounds like. Hey! I just built this guy. I want to run him over here. Guy needs a settler to run around, run around with. All these great tiles out here. I always get the best tiles in the middle of nowhere, out in the ocean. All right, corporation in two turns. Save our. Great scientist for something a little bit juicier. We are double scientist. Science, science, science. Is do I smell a Mongol, Mongol tech victory? That's the question. How many artifacts are in this game? No one will ever know. You get granaries in every city, guys. Is it even worth trying to go to island expansion? I don't know. Not sure about that. Next turn, we get hanging gardens. Holy cow! Look at that. This is gonna be interesting. Electronics. I like electronics. Good one to have. Can skip electricity. Wow, granaries. Amazing. Alright, so got this city up to five tech, so that's cool. Let's build an iron mine. Boom! Holy cow. 32 tech. I'm barely even trying here. <laughs> Holy cow. Amazing. That's amazing. I mean, I'm barely even trying, guys. It's just like... Really? Got a granary and a temple. Market, I guess. 
Let's get electronics, boys. Snowballing hard. Still showing me networking. Nice bug. Oh no, it wasn't networking, it was... What the heck was it? Uh, I'm, yeah, electronics, not networking. Mass media would be pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. I probably shouldn't have expanded out of that city at all. I just kept growing it from the very beginning. I don't think about it. Kind of don't want to rush this. I feel like it might have to. How much, how many turns is mass production? Really, is that much? It's always lying to me. It says three and then I come back and it says two. Why can't you calculate anything correctly? Why, 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 why? Nightbot's losing his mind. What are you doing? You could build the internet with this thing. Manhattan Project. There we go. Let's go with Atomic Theory. Plus two science. Wow. Crab cake? I told you, it's... I don't know, it's just crab in a cake form. I don't think there's any tricks to it. Hmm. Do I really need any of these is the question. Do I have all of the mass media prereqs? I think I need, uh, I think the answer is no. I think I need mass production and then, oh wait, I do. Oh wait, 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 let me get printing press and then that'll cost less. So, I still have no idea what is out here. Oh, Let's see if we can do some magic here. Let me get some magic. Oh, 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 please. <laughs> oh my goodness. Boy, I tell you what. Oh, a tank. So what do we got? Three moves. Yeah, I'm not sure it's worth the uh, effort to expand to islands at this point. Even if I got that tank, like what the heck's the point? Just sell it, I guess? I already have the domination aspect handled. So. And I have a lot of cities, to be honest. I mean, 31 cities is pretty good. What? Calling Delhi the greatest city? Look at this. What an abomination. Look at that. How could they insult me like this?
grow my cities here. Look at that. Okay, what is he building? Very mysterious. That reminds me, I need to go and get that with his boat. A cruiser? I kind of feel like it could pay off actually. I'm hoping that I can get an East India Company out of this Angkor Wat, since I built the Hanging Garden Babylons and have obsoleted quite a lot of technology. I'm thinking that's going to be a possibility, so we'll see what happens here. I don't think there's any other tech that's more worthwhile at this moment. Advanced Flight is on the list. <laughs> I'm leaning towards tech, to be honest. Oh, look at this. Such a load of garbage. Peter thinks it's so clever. Alright, here's a moment of truth. There you go! Told you. East India Company. Told you. Totally possible. What you know about some advanced flight? From a villager hut. That's right. Oh. <laughs> Your population drops to zero. Big money, big prizes. Stop! Oh, I found it! Dude, come on. That's like. I feel like a soothsayer. Gunpowder. Wow, look at all these free, worthless technologies. Awesome.
What happened here? What happened to this culprit? This culture push come from? Yeah, this is some pretty bananas. What happened here? What happened here? What'd you do? or not. It'd be fun to find out. <laughs> Bomb their butts. Just mess with them a little bit. Actually, you know what? I'm not even going to bother. They're not even worth my time, man. Let me get mass media and get this over with. What are you doing? Anything you can go find? Go find something. Go find something good to build. Grant me power! <laughs> Ark of the Covenant, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> Manhattan Project. Should nuke their sorry butts. Magna Carta. Trade Fair. Wow. Amazing. Doubled. Just get Stonehenge, man. This is a good tech right here. That's a real good tech. How about, uh... Not really hyped for any of these, to be honest. Just bank some hammers, I guess. That'd be good. Need to get space flight somehow. Oh, snap. He's got plus one population from that and from mass media. I wonder if that can't. I hope that worked. Yeah, I think it did. <laughs> Poor Bill Nye. Poor Bill Nye. He works so hard. He's doing his best, guys. He's doing his best. He's trying to educate you guys. Um... Uh... Aha, I pushed that culture back. Look at that. Yo, yo, nice flight path. Get on the boat, boys. Oh, let's find something. Something I, like a barb hut would be great. About the number one thing I can think of. Sure did a lot of uh did pretty well this game considering I didn't even 
I didn't even, uh... Man, look at all that tech. Considering I didn't even really... Uh, what's the word? I didn't expand to islands or anything like that. Best non-island expansion game ever. So I'm at 855 tech. I should probably do a quick sweep through of these cities. Make sure they're doing something useful. Grant me power! Not gonna mess this one up. Yeah, with the Mongols. Uh... Could have been a cool city, but it's not. Growing that thing up. All right. Get as much tech as we can, just in case we actually have to finish up with space flight here. Yeah, isn't it? Very good time with the Mongols. I mean, the Mongols are just pretty hopeless on paper and in in practice as well. Not so good. Bottom of the barrel. I would rank them 16 out of 16. That is my official ranking. By the way, tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Eastern, get ready because there's going to be a Joe Leonard official top 16 civilization ranking video it's going to hit youtube and it's going to rank every civilization in the game from 16 up to number one and uh it's a short little video i honestly started filming that video and i was like just rank the rank the civs no problem it's gonna be a quick video knock it out upload it no big deal i started filming that video it was like i was like all right, I finished filming. I hit stop. I'm like, that's about 20 minutes. And I look at the video and I'm like, damn, this thing was over an hour. I was talking for an over an hour. I had no idea it was that long. Oh, it's crazy. I, I didn't mean for it to go that long, but I guess I was talking about 16 civilizations and addressing every single one of their perks and their pros and cons and all that. But still, I didn't. I didn't think it was that long. That kind of blew my mind. So enjoy your one hour video about what what civilizations I think are the best. I think you guys are used to it by now because all my videos are ridiculously long anyway. So I think you'll like it. Woo! Holy cow. Look at this city. Give this guy that tile, man. There you go. Oh my goodness. Woo! Six, seven. Yeah. 98 production. I'm a little bit disturbed. <laughs> Honestly, I know you might think that splitting up the videos might be better, but I've actually seen a massive spike in every, basically every metric when I put it all as one video. So, your, your mileage may vary, but for me, all the numbers went up when I uploaded it as one video. I don't think it was a coincidence.
I don't think I was suddenly just popular as soon as I started uploading as one long video. You know, it's kind of annoying when it's all separate because then the comments are all separate. And they may be, you know, it's like it separates the discussion all over the place on the same video, really. And then, like, there's that chance that you might, you'd have to find part two and, like, what if I didn't properly link them together? All that nonsense. Do you, Penzilla? All right. It's good to know. That's kind of a big, big deal. It's good to know what people like the formats in. Like, I'm not trying to like. Just trying to put it, you know, in a format that works the best. Not necessarily trying to make more money or whatever. Is I'm just trying to do it in a way that, like, some people would say, oh, you should break it up because. Um, People aren't going to sit there and watch a three-hour video all at once. You know, break it down for them so they, they can digest the video. But that simply hasn't been the case in my experience. You all watch a lot of damn Civ Rev. You just sit there and watch it. And you like it a lot. The average watch time on some of my videos is like 30 minutes, which is like out of this world. So I know YouTube's liking my channel. Come on, man, I need a hut. It's not fair. Damn. Where's my little villager hut? No! I can't find one. Oh, is that one? That could be one. These guys never gave me a guide. Never, no great people from these people. Oh, is that going to be a great thingamabobber? A great little hug? Oh, oh, what? Look at this. This is cheating so bad. I'm not even trying to hide that they're cheating. Whatever, dude. Such a load of garbage. It wasn't even like threatening the flag. It was like even. Oh snap, we done got us a follower. I don't even know if Sid Meier realizes how good this game is. I think he might have accidentally made a good game. Whoops! Oh no, low fuel.
Damn, we just got two new followers. Straight blowing up. Going mega viral today. Please give me a hut. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. That'd be amazing if I could get a... Hmm. Ha ha ha! A lot of good that's gonna do me now. Oh! Thanks, Luca Via, man. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. It's very generous. Come on. What's a guy got to do? Appreciate it, man. Yeah, definitely. Just getting this thing started, but uh, I definitely want to take this channel places. I want to take it. Uh, I've, I was kind of looking around. There's a guy named uh, Quill18. He does strategy videos. I was kind of checking him out. And I was like, man, I do videos just as well as this guy, if not better, to be honest. And he's been at it a lot longer than I have, so... I was thinking, you know, I can probably get on his level if I do this consistently for a few years. Luca, if you did 101, you would have got the top cheer because Cholo Jesus is 100. So only one more. <laughs> you would have got the top cheer at the top. That's kind of, I know, I know pressure, bro. I'm just saying. I'm just saying you kind of could have. Could have took the top spot there. So, uh, none of these are useful. I <laughs> see. You know what I mean? Yeah, you could have. You tied them. So, I guess you'd actually don't get mentioned if it. Let me see. What does it do if I click this thing? Boat. It says boat if I click the message. You know who that is, right? Right, Demetrium? What in the world is my wife? <laughs> Seriously still awake? <laughs> uh, I don't think Oxford's really going to do... Alright, whatever. I'll just build Oxford for fun here. <laughs> oh man, you conquered it. Look at that. Very nice. Very nice. Oh man, I'm selling out. Getting all kinds of money. I'll, I'll sell anything. A Mountain Dew, Hot Pockets, I don't care. It's time to sell out, bro. Whatever gets me out of my web development job. Get me the hell out of there. I can't take it anymore. These guys have no idea what they're doing. They build terrible web applications. Holy cow, this is ridiculous domination. Has revealed the secrets of future technology. I'm so sorry to blow out your eardrums, but that is insane. I've never seen that. Future tech? Wow. Did you see that? I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know you can get future tech from that. Learning all kinds of stuff today on this nine-year-old game. We're getting smarter. We're getting... Braver, smarter, stronger, faster. We're kicking butt with the Mongols today. We ought to feel proud. Very proud. Oh, Luca, Luca. Oh, I know your name now. Thank you should have mentioned you're the guy from the YouTube. Uh, from the comments. We were talking on YouTube via comments. Yeah, actually, hey, man. Let me make a video for you. <laughs> Oxford is useless. How could you say that? How dare you? 
Future technology is really good. Do you understand what future technology even does, man? Future technology is nice. So anyway. Yeah, I'm going to do a video on that. Uh, maybe early next week or something. Because I think the Civ Rev community doesn't really know how to do that. Since the game is mostly on Xbox 360. I don't think a lot of people know how to do the whole Twitch slash video recording thing for, um, for this game. If I can help out with that, I think that would be a good thing. So future tech. Every time you research future tech, uh, you know, I'm going to do a video on this. I'm just going to email myself right now. Dear Joe Leonard. Um, make a future tech video. All right. There we go. I just emailed myself. I'm going to add that to my special folder. Here it goes. Video ideas. There it goes. It's off. And my wife is sending me messages. Wasn't sure. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say hello to her. How do I pronounce that? Felice de, Felice de uh, Rovere. I'm just going to call you Felice. Good day, Felice. All right, so let's uh, put this back to Manhattan. I don't think. Okay, let's talk about future tech now. Really? <laughs> uh, hold on, I got to cyber my wife real quick. <laughs> so, uh, trees. Look at the trees. So I researched future tech, and now I have three tree production, as you can see. I guess maybe a lot of people don't know about this. But it's totally a thing. If you research future tech, it does trees first, and then I think it does trade plus one to every tile next and then I think it's plus food and then it just keeps cycling and looping and looping and looping over and over keeps giving you plus one to each resource type yeah man I'm telling you I'm serious Look at my trees. How did I get three production on my trees? Yeah, it's really good. That's why I was hyped. I was like, really hyped about it. I'm like, yeah, that is cool. Ouch. Ouch. No tech cuts. <laughs> yes, my secret is out there now. I don't think I should rush a cruiser for that. I don't think it's worth it. Two turns away. Just forget it. It's over. It's not happening. Can't get it to 2000 tech anyway. 550 AD, guys. Kicking some butt here. I'm just curious if this is actually... This could be a hut over here. I'll be really angry if it is a hut. I think one of these is a named tile, too, though. Somewhere. Hey, 
Hey Luca, when you try that, the only problem is, do you have an HDMI out from your Xbox? Because I don't. I have component out from my Xbox. So the question is, do you have HDMI out from your Xbox 360? Oh, space flight. I gotta get that next turn. Not. Do I have to rush this? How many things do I have to rush? So that's five, seven, six, six. I need like another hundred tech. Can I eat that out just by managing some tiles? Maybe not. I feel like I managed them pretty recently. Maybe if I just finish up some libraries or something like that. Most of my libraries are done. There's one. Pretty cheap. Any libraries left? I don't think so. I might have to do a university. Uh, let's look at my city report. Um, Paris? Why does Paris have 66? Really? It's pretty good. careful about what I rush here. Ah, rated Hades. Just stick around, man. You're just going to get good by osmosis. You just keep soaking up all kinds of things. <laughs> TwitchCon. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about TwitchCon. They just uh, announced that. It's way out in California, though, so I don't know. That's really far. Really far for me. I'm in Maryland, so. Five, eight. So, that does it. That would get me the next turn. My math's right. Yeah, 5861. All right, I should do it. Space flight completed in six, what is it? 650? That is ridiculous. Totally ridiculous. Man, get out of here. Bailfin is too big for small fry events like TwitchCon. of gold boys let's build us some things build us this thing got us some habitation build us this thing we need fuel fuel is something we need fuel propulsion life support do it got this. We can totally do it in one turn. Market, 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 university. I never even got that. Temp Knights Templar. Not worth it. Market. 
Uh, it doesn't seem I really have any cities with monstrous production aside from that. Can I build fuel for free? Almost. <laughs> uh, Alright, I gotta find cities that actually have solid production going. Who's got solid production here? Anybody? You guys got a bank. That could help. Oh, we got this. That's a good rush price right there. Hey, what do you guys think about 50% gold versus uh, the 2% gold bonus? Like, you know, you get that 2% interest. I, I, I came to the realization, I'm like, is 2% gold interest actually better than the 50% gold bonus? Because if you think about it, The 50% gold sounds good, but then everything gets more expensive at the same time. So it's like, did anything even really change? <laughs> this is going to beat my Aztec time. Holy cow. That's insane. I guess I'm getting better, so that's good. I'm improving. Something I have wondered about. It doesn't even seem like it's really a, be a benefit. Seems pretty damn broken to me. If you get 50% more gold, but at the same time everything gets 50% more expensive, I mean, I don't see what that's doing for you. It just seems like a complete waste of time. It just makes it more annoying to rush everything. Because instead of, you know, 100, it's going to cost 150 now. So what's the point of that? Conveyor to the computer. Say what? console yeah so my console has a uh, it's a HDMI cable that runs into my computer seems like okay that's not causing inflation on all your rush costs plus you so you're, you're actually getting gold for free in that case if you have a lot of gold in store that could, that could actually be meaningful so the Arabs and the Americans and Germans all get that so One more. <laughs> Orion's black belt. So what happens is that becomes a video input source that your computer should automatically recognize so what I use is OBS and basically all you do is go and you add video source and um, you should see your hop hog device but don't worry about it man I'll, I'll make a video that just explains everything 
very soon. Right, less than a week. Let's build Stonehenge. <laughs> yeah, it's. I mean, I don't see how you're gonna get much better than this with the Mongols. It'd be very hard, very hard. Holy cow! That <laughs> arch ghost out of nowhere. Good to see you, Arch Ghost. This is an 850 AD tech victory, so that's turn number 57. 57 turns for a tech victory. Oh man, that's cool. Make it when you can. Make it when you can. 2045 AD tech bit. Wow, that's a long time, man. That's all right. The good news is it's easy to improve on a 2045 AD tech victory. Just watch my proven tips displayed in my videos. With this one weird trick, you too can be a great Civ Rev player. Civ Rev game designers hate me. <laughs> All right, enough of this nonsense. Just got here from the NBA Finals. Oh, that's pretty cool. Sounds like fun. Man, that is one awesome city. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, man. Tomorrow's video, it says number, th number 13 will shock you. <laughs> No, it says number 14. 14 will shock you. <laughs> will shock you. <laughs> Those clickbait titles are so funny to me. Oh, man. <laughs> oh man. Stop asking me to build things. I'm done playing. Oh, that's such a good title. Oh, uh, ten things Sid Meier doesn't want you to know. Game devs hate him. Five things you never knew about Civilization Revolution. Number three will shock you. <laughs> anyway, 850 tech victory with Mongols. Totally... Totally ridiculous. If I had a game like that with the Americans, I mean, it would be... I think we could get it below 0 AD. I think we could. Alright. So that was completely insane. That couldn't have went any better. 
Yep, the spreadsheet's getting updated. You better believe it. Hey, look forward to that video tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. It's gonna be a nice hour-long video, so get you some snacks and some drinks. Snackies and drinkies, as we call them around here. And just sit down and enjoy a nice long video of me blathering on with really loud background music. The damn background music is too loud in that video, but I can't fix it. There's no fixing it. So you're just gonna have to tolerate it. I'm sorry. I just. I messed it up. What can I say? So, uh. Yeah, there they went. The French, the Spanish. Japanese. I cannot believe the Japanese pulled that nonsense. <laughs> 57 turns you'd never expect in a Civ Rev victory. Oh, oh yeah. Nap Napoleon. I know. Napoleon got walked on. He got walked in on. Anyhow, so that's it, guys. It's getting late. Time to get some sleep. So, um, if you're watching and you haven't followed yet, you must follow. In fact, you should like, you should follow at the beginning. You should like this video at the beginning and subscribe and follow all at once before you watch the video because that's how we do things on the internet. You f like it first and then you watch it. That's how you do it. So, that's all for tonight, guys. Um, I'm going to have to plan something even more amazing than this for Sunday. I have to continue topping whatever I'm doing. So I'm going to do something interesting on Sunday. We'll see. I think of something fun. And I'll uh, see you guys Sunday at 9 on Twitch Eastern Time. So that schedule is probably not changing anytime soon. So you can count on that being pretty consistent. So thanks for joining, guys. Good to see you guys again tonight. And see you next time. Good night.